Bismillah, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and good greetings. Uh, this video is for the students who are taking the statics course, um, who are preparing for the midterm exam. So this is to serve as a tool for your revision, right? This is this video will not teach you anything new. Um, rather, it will highlight certain points where you should be able to understand everything already within that highlighted points. And if any, for any of the points that you are not sure, you are not clear, you do not understand yet, or you have forgotten, uh, be sure to revise back um, all the recordings, the lecture recordings is available online. Uh, even the lecture where, the recording of the lecture where we cover the past exam questions also are available online. So do check them out for any of the topics that you are not sure or not prepared yet. Right. So, um, first thing first, um, overall you have to be able to understand or you should already understand what you have covered so far, meaning that you should understand the concept and you, are, you should be able to understand what the question want, right? This is for you to, to score in your exam basically, right? Um, from the lecture that you have covered so far, you should already understand the concept, but for understanding what the question wants, you should already um, practice have enough practice with for example question from the books from the book right so by practicing um, to answer the question from the book you can test yourself whether you understand what the question want what this type this type of question wants what this type of question wants etc right so that's crucial because if you just understand the concept but when you read the question you do not even understand what the question wants uh, you are not yet prepared for the exam right so make sure you are settle in terms of okay i understand all the, the concept and i also understand what certain type of question want right now um the first thing that among the first thing that we have covered uh, i'm just only highlighting several important points here um one of the thing is um the difference between scalar and vector and how to get the vector for example right so make sure you understand what it is and how to write each of these right so for example, scalar and vector is written in the different way, right? So make sure um, you know how to write scalar and also vector, right? So if you are not sure what that, that what does it mean, if you don't even know how to write it differently, go back to the lecture because everything has been explained there, right? So uh, another thing is you have to be able to um, calculate or compute or determine um, the force as a Cartesian vector, right? For example. Uh, a force is a given in a certain direction um, with a certain magnitude you should be able to get uh, the force as a Cartesian vector by now right so the information given from the question can be different format for example it gives you the coordinate direction angle or projection angle or just the coordinate and you have to get the position vector and unit vector etc any of those uh, information you should be able to use and get the force as a Cartesian vector form. So that is normally the beginning of the question. Right? You have to express um, any force in as a Cartesian vector form to be able to compute uh, the further uh, or the continuation of the question. Right? So make sure you understand that. Now another thing we we have covered also is a resultant force. Uh, make sure you do not confuse different concepts that we have covered and we will be covering more concepts in this course So make sure you understand. Okay, when it is resultant force what it mean, right? So what it is and how to calculate Right make sure you understand this and know what to do and know how to calculate for example if you write the equation for resultant force as such then it is correct and if you write as such it is wrong. Make sure you understand why. Right? So, uh, if you do not understand why the, that one is correct and that one is wrong, um, be sure to go back into the lecture because everything has been explained. If you cannot explain why uh, one is right and one is wrong, um, perhaps you do not understand yet fully what we have covered. So, go back, revise until you understand. So, I'm just only highlighting points right now. Now, we, are, we have also covered the projected uh, component of a force, right? Um, this is regarded. Uh, this is related to dot dot product, right? So make sure you understand what it is and how to calculate. 
and make sure you have tried also some question in the book right because um, the way the question express or um, ask what it want can be in different way right it doesn't specifically always says get the projected component of a force etc sometimes the way it express um, what is required is different right so please do have enough exercises before the exam right uh, also um, you have the angle between two vectors make sure you understand what it is and how to calculate again the way the question request for this one can be different right it will not say find the angle between two vector um, what you have is the equation that can relate to vector and what is the angle between the two vector but the question can give uh, for example you have two cables find the angle between the two cables so you know how to relate okay if I know this vector and this vector, I can get the theta, right? So that is how um, you'll be you are able to solve the question, right? So make sure you understand the concept and also how the question um, is written to, to, to ask for certain things. Next, we also have covered equilibrium. Make sure you understand what it is and how to calculate. Make sure I understand... Uh, from the quizzes, I'm, I'm pretty concerned that many students do not seem to be able to distinguish or differentiate between um, resultant and equilibrium. It is connected, right? For example, the equilibrium means the resultant of all forces should be equal to zero. But sometimes, um, the question actually asks, what is the resultant between this and this, right? Or what is the addition uh, of this and this, right? For example, so uh, make sure you understand the concept and also how to calculate and differentiate between different concepts, right? So if you have collected your quiz, I think you know uh, where you get it wrong and make sure you understand why is it wrong, why it, why, where is the mistakes, etc. Now, um, when you deal with equilibrium, one significant thing that you should do is draw the free body diagram, right? Um, it is a must because all your uh, the continuation which is the equation of equilibrium must be based on the free body diagram right so this is different when you do with uh, resultant force for example the question asking resultant force you do not need to draw the free body diagram because it's just a resultant force but in equilibrium you have to have free body diagram because you have equation of equilibrium which must be based on a certain free body diagram make sure you really understand what is a free body diagram right because if you have the quiz also make sure you check if you lose marks in your free body diagram free body diagram it may uh, it may means that you fundamentally lack of certain understanding of what is a free body diagram why is it wrong to draw a certain way etc right so you can reverse all those back in the lecture video in the recording right um, for example if you write this this is correct when you write this um, is it correct right so make sure you understand what is the difference between the two and why is the first one always correct the second one it might not be right because when you add the vec uh, the magnitude of different force uh, especially in 3d it may not be zero it may not right but the vector summation should be zero right so make sure you understand why um, also whatever we have covered so far i forgot to mention make sure you understand it uh, and how to determine or calculate it both in 2D and 2D and 3D, right? The question can be in two-dimensional or three-dimensional um, space, right? So each of these have, have their own way of calculating, right? Scalar and also vector. Now, we, also, we have also covered about moments, so make sure you understand what it is and how to calculate, right? Um, this is about the tendency for rotation, but we have different type of moments that for example, we have moment about a point, make sure you understand what is that concept. Um, moment about an axis, make sure you understand that concept. And also moment of a couple, make sure you also understand that concept. Right? Uh, understanding the concept is important. Also understanding what is the equation and how to calculate is also important. So, for example, these are some of the example uh, equation uh, within the three type of moment make sure you understand which is for which and make sure you understand understand what is the meaning of each parameter what is that r what is that f what is that u 
what is that dot what is that cross understand everything right um, do not guess do not gamble do not blindly do something right make sure you, you understand that r in the equation is a position vector from where to where make sure you understand that u is unit vector for what right so those things understand and um, know how to calculate right so um, when we say understand it normally means you are able to explain it and also you are able to apply it so make sure in terms of concept um, do 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 test yourself with your friend right if you cannot even if you cannot even explain certain concept the question is do you really understand it and if you try to un uh, solve the question if you cannot apply the concept if you cannot apply the equation then the question is do you understand that equation do you understand each parameter right this one is what how to get this r how to get this u etc right so all of those uh, meaning that you before the exam you should be able to explain you can test with your friend and you should uh, be able to apply all the equations uh, and calculation steps that comes from practice right so with all that all the best hopefully you understand and able to apply whatever you understand and remember i always tell in the class your marks in the exam is primarily based on what is on the paper that you write not based on purely what is your mind because if you understand everything but you fail to transfer it on paper because we can only judge based on the paper right so if you the way you write vector and scalar is mixed up etc you may lose a lot of points so avoid that right make sure you understand and know how to transfer it on paper properly inshallah so with that thank you for watching all the best um, any points that you do not understand you cannot recall etc go back to the lecture if after even go to the lecture recordings you still do not understand do not do not hesitate hesitate to to ask question do not delay do not delay until you forgot what you do not uh, understand just write the question i will help try to help you inshallah and with that all the best see you next as you in class whenever that is